I've been picking up these little pockets as and when, these pieces, I've got about three or four on the go. Not just picking one up and working on its completion, I'm kind of trying to keep them all going in tandem um, and then I don't get, you don't get bored with what's going on my blog. So today I've got like a little half pocket on the surface of this and I'm just going to buttonhole lace along the top of it. The edges still need to be done, um, I haven't done around the edges and I've took a damp stretch this last night because I added some more stuff to it that I'll show you when I've done this. Um, so I took my pictures before I did this because I didn't want to because when you put it in a hoop inevitably it gets creased so I wanted those pictures to be on a nice fresh damp stretched piece of work so I'm just going to literally without making a complete pig's ear of it buttonhole along this edge Neatly is the uh, preferred option. Equal size stitches. Won't take long because it's a very tiny little semicircular pocket. And then I'll show you the appliques that I put on it last night. I, uh, no, I didn't do it last night actually, I was away yesterday, I went to a christening, so I did it on Saturday night and it was on the damp stretching board until this morning, um, and when we were at the christening they had this lovely thing, it was like a, a printed tree of life with lots of branches coming off, and next to it there was a little ink pad, and what they wanted you to do, they had everyone's names on who was a relative or a friend of this little baby. I was a relative, of course. So that's the first run. I need to do another one. Do you know? I need to do another one. I've gone through the base cloth there. So I'm just wondering if it's just a fibre. Uh, no, it's off now. It must have just caught a little fibre. That's good. I would have had to unpick it otherwise. Sometimes you get just a little snag of a fibre. Let's fasten this off. So for the relatives, and the close friends who are at this baptism, you put your finger on the ink pad and put your fingerprint on the branch of the tree that had your name next to it, which I've never ever seen before. A beautiful idea, but look at my finger now. Look at that black ink, I can't get it off under my nail. So there was loads of people walking round the christening reception with black ink all over the fingers. They did actually provide um, there were wet wipes there to get it off, but it didn't. I mean, look at the state of that. All right, Trump, if I go anywhere and sign for anything or anything, they're going to think, oh, look at the state of her hands. Her nails are a disgrace. Look at her. The shame. Can't thread my needle. The end of that's too raggy. So this will just be... I'm going to do my second row now. So I'm going to have to put another knot in this. I like to do two rows, to me it just finishes it off nicely, gives it like a little lacy, lacy appearance. So, and it should be quicker to do the second row, in theory, than the first row. Trying very hard to keep it neat and even and then of course I'm going to have to edge it around the other curved side probably going to be bullion loops and that'll become clear to you why in a second I can't pick that one up there. And I can't believe the number of people who have bought the Sarah Midder 
South of France book since I had it on my blog. I should be on commission. I'm not. Well, I should be. I wish I was. But you'll love it, actually. You really will love it. You won't be disappointed, honestly. Right, so the last. There. And then go down to the back. And fasten that off. And then I'll take it out of the hoop and I'll show you the other thing that I did on Saturday night. Okay. So, see it's all creased now, it's been in the hoop. Right, so that's that just done now. And obviously it needs edged with something. Now on Saturday night, I put these appliques on, there's five of them. Um, I'll pull out a little bit. So you can see them all. One, two, three, four, five. They're half edged with chain stitch. And then they've got bullion loops at one edge. And then they've got gimp meandering around. And um, you'll see that in the photographs anyway. So probably going to put bullion loops around there. But that isn't going to be all that's on there. Um, I've still got that to finish. This to embellish and that to embellish. Which in all honesty, they're not massive areas. I think that's probably about six inches. And that's maybe four inches. And then that, you know, so that's like six inches by four. And that's four by four. And then that's a bit bigger up there. But, you know, it's not a massive area. So it doesn't take long. It's just, I need to think about what to put on them on us, actually. Sometimes it's not instant. I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. And there's also the repetitive thing. Um, don't do the same stitches over and over again. But then invariably I do. So there. So that's just that little pocket now edged with buttonhole lace and later today I think I'm probably almost definitely going to do bullion loops around there and then give some consideration to what else I want on here okay